guys, welcome back. This is Joe's Arctic, and today we are going to become a wizard of starlight. So I hope you guys are ready. So getting back into astro sorcery, we need to make a starlight crafting altar. In order to get this crafting altar, or, or even before we want to think about building it and building this massive thing, we really need to find a good place for it. And that's where the Fosnick Resonator is going to come in handy. This thing is a wonderful tool and is going to help us find a really decent spot um, to place this thing. Uh, it does tell us a little bit about, uh, like if you read these entries, it does tell you a little bit about what this thing does. I'm going to go over um, what this does with you guys. So, I mean, if you don't want to read it, go, then just listen here. Um, anyways, um, so I'm still building up Starlight, but we are going to need a bucket of Starlight for this. And we're just going to need a piece of gold, aquamarine, and a bucket here. And we are going to whack this thing with our resonating wand. Just much like every other craft that goes on with astral sorcery, we're going to get ourselves a Fosnick, a Fosnick Resonator. So what does this thing do? Well, it's going to help us find a, a, a highly concentrated area of starlight. Um, so you'll, it, it does take a little bit of time to find these because they're not all over the place. They're kind of sporadic in where they're at. And you never know. Like it could be an area like this. So you can kind of see the blue area here. This is a highly concentrated area of starlight. Um, very important place right here. But it is, I mean, it is actually fairly close to our base. So we could put it there. Um, I was going to see if there was any other place. That actually might be a, a great place right there. Um, but I'm seeing if there's any other place concentrated. Even high up on this mountain would be a good place. But I mean, as far as I can see... That's actually going to be a pretty decent area. It's not even too far away from our base. So yes, you're definitely looking for this. And we should be able to clear away most of this with, uh, yeah, just by snapping our fingers, basically. Just like that. And we're going to be able to clear away a large portion of most of this, uh, this ground area. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get most of this cleared up. And then I'm going to build a path out to it from our base. We're going to create a little pathing area. And this is where we're going to get started, and we're going to definitely have some fun building this here. And we kind of want to be roughly in the center. Wow, this place, this area, this is huge. Quite a large area. Normally, it's a little bit smaller than this. So with our Fosnick Resonator really showing off this area, you can kind of see here, I've kind of decorated this a little bit, got some grass down here. But this right here is the main area that we want to place this new altar. So I have a few things in my inventory that are going to be... Uh, that are going to prepare us for this. Um, this list right here shows us everything we need. And also, this will take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to build it. But for the most part, it should be pretty simple to kind of look here um, and rotate this around and really be able to see how this thing is built. It's not too difficult. This is the first tier. Um, now, it is going to require a few different materials, like I said, shown all here in the list. And you can get all these by just using a regular chisel on some marble. And if you have problems finding marble, um, you can find it while mining underground, but you can also find some astral sorcery um, temples, just like the one that we have over here. Um, and you can find those and just mine them out. You're going to have tons of resources uh, that you're going to gain by doing so. Um, so, like with this marble brick, I'm going to go ahead and actually just convert all of this to the marble brick. Be careful, it's not the marble brick from Chisel. It'll be the marble brick. All the stuff is going to be from astral sorcery. Um, oh, how's this guy doing? There we go. Anyways. Um, so to get this started, let's uh, let's create our central point right here. Um, we're also going to have sooty marble that's going to surround this. And we'll just make a square here in the middle. And there's going to be like little ears off to the side of this square. And this is how we're going to build this thing. Uh, it doesn't take too much. Like if you've built it once, you're probably going to remember how to build it the next time. Um, and I've built this thing several times. So this is your central structure. We'll also break this block here and place it here. And we have ourselves some sooty marble. Um, now, taking a look, another peek back at our book, you can kind of just open the page up and go, all right, so everything else on the outside, minus the corners, are going to be this brick, marble brick structure. And it's going to go just like this, leaving these corners open. Very simple. Look at that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to kind of go through here step by step on how to build this thing, because I do know some people do struggle with uh, kind of understanding how, it, how it's built. 
But you can find out here underneath here, you kind of see that the structure is going to be the same block as these top pieces, which are going to be the um, chiseled marble. So we'll go ahead and put the chiseled marble here in the corners, just like this. And then there's going to be these really cool blocks called marble pillars. They're going to be two blocks tall in each direction. Give ourselves some light here. And then on top of that is going to go some more chiseled marble right on the top. We're almost done. Like, we're already almost done building this structure. It's pretty simple. And then the outside is where we are going to place these, um, what are they called? Marble arches. So, yeah, we can just use our chisel, convert it over to the marble arch material, and voila. We just surround the entire outside with this, and we have ourselves our upgraded altar. Now, what I want to do with this is actually put my new, or put my altar that I have over here in it. Let's go ahead and grab this altar. Voila. Also, I'm going to grab a bucket of starlight while I'm here. That one's complete. They're both look completely full of starlight. Um, and right here, place the altar in the middle. Because this is where we're going to upgrade this thing. So, now that we have all of this done, we should have almost everything ready to upgrade this to the next tier, which is the starlight crafting altar. This is the recipe we are going to need to place in here. It's going to require rock crystals, some marble arches, and some chiseled marble. So we should have just about everything. We do have the marble arches. We just need the chiseled marble. So let's go ahead and craft that. Um, and I also need one rock crystal, so I'll pull that out. And let's go ahead and make this. So go to Astral. We can pull up this one right here. Put it in there, and it's all ready to be crafted. And here we go. Let's get this craft on. And you're going to see a, some really nice particle effects happening while this goes on. Look at that. Just all kinds of fun stuff happening. It does take a little bit longer, but as long as you have enough daylight, go, or uh, not daylight, nighttime, uh, you should be good. And look at there. And now that this is here, we have a larger internal crafting area. Um, so you can also see that our starlight is not that completely full but we can fix that later on. It's still a lot better than any other area we probably could place this thing. Now, the higher you place this up in the air, the more starlight you're going to have um, to a certain Y level. But um, at this point, it, it's, it's gonna be good. So I went ahead and set up some pillars along this walkway, and one of the major reasons I wanted to get into Astro Sorcery was because of its really cool lights that this thing can produce. Not only does the starlight put off a really cool glow, but there are really cool lights that you can make with uh, with this mod. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those. And that is, let's put some aquamarine in here. And we hit this bad boy. We are going to make some dust here. And uh, depending on how much starlight you have, it will consume all of the items uh, given that you have enough starlight to do so. So we just got some illumination powder. Now, illumination powder can be used in other crafting recipes, and uh, we will use them eventually, but for right now, I'm going to use this mainly as a light source. We can place them on top of these pillars, even on top of this to add some extra light, which is usually what I like to do. There we go. And we now have some really decent like light sources. Now, later on, uh, what we want to work towards is the illumination wand, and the illumination wand will let us change colors of these lights, and you can pretty much place them unlimited. Uh, not only that, you're going to also be able to do some other cool things with them, like make light source, like make blocks actual light sources, which is kind of cool. Now, don't get me wrong, there are other mods in here that let you do that as well, and we're going to get into those. I do enjoy the Erebus lights, um, so we we'll just have to figure out uh, and go over that one day. But for right now. We have all these lights set up. It, it's starting to look pretty good. We have our area made up. Things are starting to look really nice. Um, but this is not going to last very long. We need to upgrade this. And to do that, we need to start looking at our new section, which is attunement. Um, so if we take a look at attunement, the main thing that we need to focus on is getting ourselves a linking tool made. Now, a linking tool is just some wood sticks and another uh, rock crystal. So you're going to be using these quite often, right? You're gonna be using these rock crystals. Let's go ahead and head over here. We're just gonna grab some uh, wood and sticks. And I think that's all we really need to do this final craft here. 
in order to get ourselves a linking wand. We'll make the linking wand here. Perfect. And we'll hit that and get this up and running. Yeah. So this linking tool is going to be really important to us. And that's also why I have access to this room over here. You're going to see here in a minute what we're actually going to do with that area. Because it's not going to stay looking the way it currently is. So let's take this, this uh, lovely tool. And we're probably also going to need to go down underground. Uh, because we have automatic ore processing, I don't think we have any ore laying around that, uh, yeah, we don't have any iron ore, which we're going to need some iron ore. So I'm just going to go ahead and head over here, grab some iron ore. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to utilize this stuff, quite a bit of it actually, um, to make some new materials. So once we're inside this altar, well, we're going to need to change a few things about this place. Um, one being, well, we're going to need some space, so let's just go ahead and make this a circle here. And then we're also going to need to just basically break the roof out of where we're going to be working. So I'm going to break this whole area out, and what I need to do is just remove the water here. Also, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and break this section out as well. Um, because we need access to the sky. That is going to be a major part of this, uh, because this unfortunately will not work unless you have access to the sky. So let's go ahead and just break this whole area out here. It's literally intended for this. You can see the shape of it is just it's just asking to be ripped out so it has access to the sky. All right. So let's also remove this ugly cobblestone as well. Oh, cobblestone is just not that great to look at. All right, and we'll switch this up. I'm just going to put marble here. There we go. Make things look nice. Um, so what I intend to do with this, go ahead and break this, um, is I need to place down some iron ore. And I'm going to place it down in a circle here. And I'm just going to link it with our linking tool. So I'm going to right click here, and then I'm just going to right click on one of these blocks. And you're going to see a little beam of light go to it. And I'm going to do this for each one. And wow, just automatically, we end up getting ourselves a piece of star metal. Now, this works really fast at night. Uh, during the daytime, it's a little bit slower. As it does need, you know, that starlight. And once these are linked in place, after you break them, you just place a new new block there and it will, it will obviously work. Um, I think that's about it. We need to check my bag here. So when we break this, we get some regular ore. And like I said... We can just go back and place iron ore, and it's going to continue to link, and we can continue to do this. Um, do you want to automate this? I don't think so. I've never really had an issue where I needed a bunch of this. Um, you're going to need a little bit of it, but I don't think... I mean, if you ever need to come back and do this, it doesn't take very long as long as it's nighttime. So definitely get enough while you can. But for the most part, you're not going to need a, an awful lot. Maybe a stack at most um, to get through Astro Sorcery. But with this, uh, we're going to do two different things. You can smelt it to get an actual ingot. Or you can grind it up. Uh, you can, yeah, grinding it up over here, Pulverizer, will give you Stardust. These two things are going to do two totally different things in the end. Um, but they're both going to be used. You're going to need both of them. And look at there. All of it done all at once. Nice. So this is going to stay linked. Um, it's a really cool thing to do. And later on, you can kind of make your own of these and kind of move things around. But we need one of these altars in order to do a lot of these crafts. So that's one of the major things. And as you can see, if we go into our book here, to move on just to the next table, that's really all we needed to do. So... Um, if we take a look at this right here, the Celestial Altar, all we need is um, some ground-up stardust and a piece of star metal, and we can make the next altar. Now, keep in mind that to make this altar, you do not need to build the altar before you do the craft. So what we can do is actually make this Celestial Altar basically right now. And we can do that. Hopefully we have enough starlight. I think you might need an entire... A bar of it, but I'll, I'll find out. Let's go ahead and crush this here. 
And I don't think it's going to automatically go into the furnace. It shouldn't. and should end up over here. Now the furnace, this is going to automatically put it in our chest. There we go. And that's going to go into our system. So star metal. Voila. So we pretty much have everything we need. Um, except for it's of, it's of course becoming daytime. So I'm going to make sure that we have enough starlight. Um, some other things that you can do to help boost starlight is by making these attunement, uh, not attunement perks. Where's it at? This, I think this is a part of it though. It doesn't really show you on here. Maybe it is, uh, it's probably in the other section where it talks about how to gain more light. It's down in here, I believe. Um, yes, so you can make these spectral rays, and these spectral rays are going to give you, if you build these structures near your uh, little area, they'll actually help boost starlight, uh, which is pretty nice. But they do have a, a diminishing return. So if you make a lot of them, you're not going to get the, uh, you know, the, the same amount. Like It's not going to keep building on top of each other. So luckily for us, we do have enough starlight and just the perfect amount. So... If we go ahead and activate this, you're going to see some really cool particle effects start to take place. Light's going to be drawn from here. It's just, it's a really cool looking crafting thing that goes on for this. And this is going to upgrade us to our next altar. We're already there. Uh, so getting this all done is actually really quick. Um, as long as you kind of understand, I guess, how, how the mod works. It's not that, it's not that hard, right? And we got tons of starlight and we only used what? A couple aquamarine. I've barely used any aquamarine through this whole process. Um, and we've also built up tons of sand, which is really nice. So this thing should be fine. If the moon is right in the star... Oh, there was a... Uh, an, an uh, What is it called? A falling star? Or... Yeah, something just went through the sky. I just kind of seen it there. Um, barely caught that. All right, this is almost done. Oh, I love how on the mini-map you can see my... Oh, you can see my snowman. There's a snowman in my base. I'm using it to make my food. Later on, we're also going to get better food, by the way. Okay, you can see if this bar is red, this is basically saying, ah, the structure is not valid. So what we're going to have to do is we need to upgrade this structure. And uh, you, like I said, you want to make sure that you build, you want to get this altar before you upgrade the structure. Believe me, I have done it a ton of times where I have built the new structure and then realized, oh, I can't craft it. So yes, make sure you do this. And um, if you kind of want to know the dimensions here, it's, it's pretty simple. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a seven by seven square um, of the uh, sooty marble. And then you just surround everything with, you know, just your normal marble. This is normal marble from, uh, make sure it's from Astral Sorcery. And I mean, it's just super simple to build this thing. So right here, we're sort of running into an issue. You can kind of see that we just don't have enough starlight. Uh, this bar right here is representing uh, the, the starlight needed, and this is the amount of starlight we have, and I've also upgraded this thing fully now to the tier two. So how do we go about increasing the amount of starlight? Well, I mentioned before that you could actually use uh, a method here, kind of zoom back out, of going back into exploration and crafting these spectral relays. Now these spectral relays are going to be very important. They just use marble and this glass that you can make here by using glass paints. So I'm thinking about having just a few of them and we can actually fit them perfectly and get two running in each of these slots on the side here. And so I'm going to go ahead and get these things crafted and show you how powerful these things can actually be. So just for reference, if you wanted to know how to build this thing, this is how I normally do it um, because it is actually going to provide a really good experience um, and you can actually like I'm doing split this between two and uh, it will kind of form a multi-block but it won't you know it won't mind that it's sharing these two blocks here um, so you're gonna find this out I'm, I'm setting up eight of them um, some people may say that ah, that's too many but uh, you know it does help a lot so uh, and then in the center will be sooty marble so I need to go grab some sooty marble we only have two, so I'm actually going to need to make some sooty marble. Let's go ahead and make some more. To do sooty. And we'll just grab a bit more. That should be plenty for right now. So we're going to build these up and then we're going to place these lenses and spectral rays down. 
Um, you can you can multi craft them, which is what I did. I got a bunch of them ready to go. Did I miss? I guess I missed one of these lights earlier. Bam, that's fixed. All right, sooty marble there. And last but not least, these are ready to go. So um, you're gonna place your spectral rays on them just like this. These are also used later on, so you might as well make some because you're gonna need them anyways. And then once you get them placed, you just take your your glass lens and place it inside. And as soon as the glass lens is in, you're gonna start seeing some particle effects. And this is going to dramatically increase the starlight. I'm not joking. As you've seen, that was really low, and now it's completely full. So making the thing that I was trying to make before, no longer an issue. I think it's called an altar. No, it's not. Um, what was I trying to make? It was the starlight infuser. So yeah, I'm going to need what? I accidentally re-chiseled some of these things. Looks like gold and ruined marble. Just a few things that I have to, to make up here. So once you get all this ready to go, um, you're, you're going to need to be making a starlight infuser. This thing is going to be your next major step in crafting from this mod. Um, and this is where starlight is going to become really necessary, where you're going to start needing a, a more and more starlight. Um, so once this altar is made, we have to actually find another place to put it. And I'm probably just going to fit it over here somewhere. Um, I would rather keep it, you know, pretty close to where all of our other astral sorcery stuff is. Probably will keep it right in line, but we have to build another multi-block. And it shouldn't take too long to get this thing up and running. So this is the altar that this new... Starlight infuser is going to go on. We place the starlight infuser here. It's ready to go. Now, the weird thing about building this, let's just kind of go over this because I know this might be confusing to some, is it does have a under layer, um, but these blocks are kind of hard to distinguish sometimes. Luckily, you can kind of break this down, but even then, it's still hard to see what these blocks in the corner is. So here is a better way to view this. These are going to be ruined marble on the inner sides here, and then underneath this uh, block is going to be a block of lapis. And then the rest is fairly simple. You just kind of have to build a little structure above. And then the last part of this is going to be filling this whole thing with starlight. So you're going to need the buckets of starlight to do this. So what I recommend is just taking one of your full uh, tanks over here and literally just placing them. Um, it's, it's that simple. Um, now, when you go to use this thing, it can start to get kind of complicated. And I'm gonna show you right here how to kind of tell where to fill the starlight. So you can see right here how this is setting up. Well, you kind of know that there is a block missing. You really don't know if it's the left or right one. That's kind of a, a, a challenging thing, but eventually you're gonna kind of see what it looks like because this of course does not refill. So right here, you can definitely tell that right here is missing a bucket of starlight. So you can throw that in here and you're gonna need to fill every single bit of these things with the starlight. Um, and it's going to use this starlight, so make sure to keep a starlight source nearby. I recommend placing, like, um, your t new, your tanks here that has been gathering up the starlight. Just remove them, because you don't need them over here anymore. I recommend just placing them in here. So, from this point on, um, you can get them charged up in here. It doesn't mess with the multi-block or anything. Uh, it works just fine. You can place these right in here. And then, of course, throw your aquamarine on them and just let them start generating because they do have access to the sky here. Now, what I want to do is infuse my first item. And to do that, I'm going to throw one of these crystals on here and I'm going to hit it with a resonating wand. And what you're going to see is this thing is going to be infused with starlight. And uh, this is actually an item that we need to make that illumination wand that I was mentioning earlier. So we get this item and you can see that it looks like it used a bucket from here. And it looks like it's it's the center one that it did use. Um, so like I said, it will use starlight. Um, so if we take this. Oh, actually, it must have been right here. So it was this corner here. But you'll kind of get to know what is what uh, over time. So uh, that just that was the sound of that breaking. By the way, let's take a look at that that wand. So illumination wand. Take a look at wands. This right here. This is going to require two rock crystals, two pieces of stardust, some rune marble, and illumination powder, and it's also going to need to be nighttime. So, I'll meet you guys back when it's nighttime, 
And we're gonna make this wonderful wand that I've been trying to make this whole time. So here it is, nighttime again, and uh, let's go ahead and activate this thing. I have the wand ready to go, and I think this thing is such a powerful tool. It is really one of my favorite tools from this mod. Not only can we change the color of it, depending on what dye we apply to it, we can consistently change it. Oh boy, get this guy out of here. Ooh, that was a close one. Um, but you can just infinitely place light sources. So no longer will we ever need torches. We can just place these light tor or light sources and they'll look like this. Look at this thing. Phenomenal. This is such a powerful tool. Now, while holding it, we are going to have this uh, Fosnick bar or this light bar that is above our um, experience bar. And each time we use this, you're going to see it uses a little bit of that starlight that we have on us. But that's not a big deal. Um, also, let's take a look at this. Like, if I want to apply a dye to this, let's just say red, for example. I think I have some poppies, right? I have a poppy. So let's just take this red dye and apply it to this wand. It is now a red illumination wand. And it is red. Look at that. And it will actually take on the color. So if you're going with a theme, this is probably the best way to do that. Um, and also, if you ever want to get rid of these, you can just take any block just place the block where the light source is at, and voila, it's gone, right? So this is really what I wanted to strive for from Astral Sorcery. Of course, we're going to do some other things with Astral Sorcery, but I wanted to do some more exploring. There's some more mods in here that I really want to jump into, especially the Twilight Forest, because there's something in the Twilight Forest that we desperately need, and that is better food than some cherry smoothie. I'm about cherried out. I don't know about you guys, but man, these cherry smoothies are giving me a brain freeze. So anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also click that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and you haven't clicked that already. Uh, it'll let you know when I publish new videos just like this one. So guys, I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.